Um, I'm Samantha Moscato. Uh, I have cystic fibrosis, so uh, some of my hobbies. Uh, I love visual arts, I love art history. I love every medium of art because it's just a way to kind of express myself and express myself doing it colorfully. <laughs> when you have cystic fibrosis, your body isn't gaining all the nutrients it needs. Um, all the liquids in your body are a lot thicker. If you're not gaining the proper weight, you're going to end up dying of starvation. That's, that's one way of looking at it. If you're not doing all your treatments for your lungs, you're going to end up drowning from the inside. When I was born, uh, I was eight pounds and I continued to live on. I seemed really healthy and I seemed well, but um, about two months I started really not gaining any weight. My body wasn't taking the nutrients that it needed. When I was younger, I didn't really understand still what was going on. I was um, in the hospital for so long that I eventually had to get a pick line, like right up here. They shove it in one of your veins and it's a tube that goes straight to your heart so it can pump the IV drugs there and then they can just go through your body faster. I had so many friends come and visit me, best friend. Uh, I was told like she's at school and I'm in the hospital so she sat by our tree that we always hung out around and when she wasn't at school she would come and visit me and she would just hang out with me and it was really nice. I got to go outside with my, my IV pole of course but we had our own little picnic and that was so great. It was just so nice to get outside. That was that was one of the really big moments. As you start to get older, you get to use more of the inventions that people have made to help cystic fibrosis that have come from research dollars. I take four pills with meals and three with snacks. And you, you just get older, you just have to take more and more. When I was younger, I asked my mom why there isn't a cystic fibrosis camp where we can all meet and get together. She said that there was. I said, well, what happened to it? She told me that so many people with cystic fibrosis were getting together and eventually they were spreading so many infections towards each other that they were dying. They were going to the hospital, they were getting IV pumps and they were getting pick lines. And Eventually, I did meet someone who went to that camp and she told me that she lost by friends. It's just, it's really scary to meet someone with CF, but at the same time it's so tempting because you really want to meet someone like you. I've always had um, kind of like daydreams of what it would be like to kind of have regular lungs and have regular breathing. I almost feel like it would be like coming out of a cage. To all you university students, definitely don't, don't take life for granted because what you have is so lucky. And just to be in school is amazing. It's, it's just breathtaking. With all the research money, that has come about uh, from Shinarama and from so many other places. It's, it's great to say that it has increased my life expectancy and it's increased so many others. Um, just to let them know that they can live longer too. Because when you're born, you have the expiry date on you. And at the moment, it's 49, but it's nice to think that it keeps going up all the time. If I see the Shinerama sticker, I know that it's gonna mean hope, I guess. I guess it's cheesy in a way, but it does. It's, the orange colors, it, it lights up my life. It's making its own shine. <laughs>
thank you to everyone who's been doing this. 50 years ago when cystic fibrosis first became known as a disease, Samantha wouldn't have lived to the age of five. In fact, she probably wouldn't have survived that hospital stay for us. But because of the money that's been raised for research and all of the research that's taken place, we now have a young, vibrant 18-year-old. And this wouldn't happen if it weren't for folks like yourselves doing what you do. We just really appreciate it. It's real. It helps. Thank you.